Yesterday, I, I taught two wilderness classes at summer camp. I see all the kids all staring at my arm, and so it reminds me to tell them that I have, uh, I have a disease that older people get that makes my, makes my arm shake, my hand shake, and this little girl yesterday, she came over and she held my hand and she tried to stop it from, from moving, you know, and she says, uh, it does shake, doesn't it? And I said, yes, it does. I first noticed my Parkinson's because of the tremor, and I read about the Parkinson's Institute and called and made an appointment. On the appointment slip it says, why are you coming here? And I put on there, I want to know what I've got. And I saw Dr. Wong and uh, he diagnosed a definite uh, Parkinson's. Parkinson's disease is one of the major neurodegenerative diseases of aging, Alzheimer's being the other probably affects over a million people just in the United States alone. The classic symptoms most people will recognize is shaking hand, slowness of gait, uh, rigidity of the muscles, a stooped posture. Uh, it is a progressive disease and it's incurable. We do have very good medications that can help on a day-to-day -day basis. The big problem in Parkinson's disease is that sooner or later we get side effects of therapy and those can be worse than the disease itself. So ultimately, these therapies don't really help patients anymore. There's a big emphasis in our disease, in addition to medications, for exercise, dance, yoga. Anything that helps with movement and keeps patients moving seems to be of benefit in this disease. And we believe it's as important as the medications. There's a desperate need to find some way to intervene to stop the progression of the disease or reverse the progression of the disease. That's the major focus in the Parkinson's field right now. We can't get to the area of the brain in Parkinson's that's affected. It's deep in the brain. It's called the substantia nigra because it's not accessible. We would damage the patient irreparably. So we don't have a way to actually get real Parkinson's disease cells from humans. With the CIRM grant, we actually will have the funding to get cells from living Parkinson patients, skin cells say, drive them back to stem cells with new technologies and then forward to those very same cells that die in Parkinson's. Once we've done this, we will have for the first time the opportunity to study disease mechanisms in a culture dish a way we never could before, but I think even more importantly, to test for new drugs to treat the Parkinson's disease patients, and that could be revolutionary. One of the most important things, in my opinion, in terms of both medical research and patient care is that they somehow communicate with each other. We can go from discoveries in the laboratory right up through clinical research and clinical trials to test new drugs without ever leaving the building. And it happens because it's a very seamless system here where all of us communicate and things can move very efficiently and easily right up uh, from bench to bedside, if you will. I'm not a technical person. I, 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 don't, uh, I don't really understand all the research that's going on, but I volunteer for everything that comes along. I'm, constantly in the nurse's office saying, you know, what's new, what can we do, and looking at their board up there. There is some urgency, as Michael J. Fox points out, there is some urgency. We're, uh, we're getting older and uh, we would like to see the cure in our, in our lifetime. <laughs>